What up, manga guys? I'm back with another video doing the Bongo arc of Chainsaw Man. Yep, I was planning on waiting to all the anime at the first episode of the Katana Man arc, but I this arc is pretty short, only nine chapters, but it's still good. I enjoy reading Chainsaw Man. And after this comes the International Assassin's Arc before the conclusion, the Gun Devil. Well, finally, well, there's the Gun Devil. What was set up a couple of arcs, a few arcs ago. Here's it. Might be on the mystery of why he wants to kill Denji. Anyway. So, yeah, the arc continues where we left off. Denji's walking on his own after his date with Makima. He's pretty excited that she made his heart go... Yes, he does have a heart. And he enters a phone booth. I think he makes a phone call this one. And he meets a girl named Rize. He's going along pretty good with... She likes him. Anyway, wait, the shark guy is be following Denji. His name is Beam. Why is all these beams and these names? Power? Beam? <laughs> oh boy. I don't like how Denji and Hayakawa become a little more closer. You know, kind of become a little like friends or something. More acquaintances, so. Not friends, so. You get the point. <clears throat> anyway. Do you want me to advice into the cafe she works at sometime? You know? Anyway. After that she leaves and enters the cafe. But Denji was somehow waiting. <laughs> He's fast. Mm. She started enjoying her conversation with Denji. You know? Like they actually like each other. She knows that Denji's never been to school. Which makes sense since he's only 16. He's young. <clears throat> he never had an education because his parents died. At the, uh, his parents had debt. And when they died, it went to him. Which is so cruel. Why is the child to pay off the debt? That's why Denji's life's been like that for years. We might get a conclusion about the mystery of that door in the next arc. Maybe. Probably not, though. Whatever this creator is setting up, it's going to be interesting. Pochita does not want Denji to open that door at all. What is behind it? What could it mean? We'll wait and see something in the future. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. So, Denji. So, yeah. a lot of time together. She has been since, yeah. Oh, well, Haikawa is busy dealing with the angel fiend. Who's a bit of a lazy bum. I think he's he's kind the more cowardice and juice gets me more likeable. I think mean, yeah, so that just a show and jump set up now. Anyway, um, last time, as I said, I didn't expect Himeno to die. Like, she's in the opening. I thought she was going to last a little longer. Like, she got killed off after her introduction story. No joke, just the next arc, just one arc after her introduction, she gets killed off. Well, did the Korean not like him, like her or something? Or was it done a bit shot battle? But we don't, we didn't really get much time to learn about Himeno. We know she has a sister. So yeah, that little bothers me. And I seem we know the gun devil's location. But where is he? I can't remember what it's saying about that. Wherever the gun devil is. He wants Denji dead for some reason. And just 
Anyway, uh, oh, I have to get the know each other. The girls raise a size to teach Genji some things at school. <coughs> oh, no. So I have to teach Genji at school at night. Hmm. Anyway. Bing's very interested in Chang in Denji for some reason. <laughs> He's a weirdo though. He's just as weird as power. Who doesn't really make much appearance in this arc. Lonely. But I'll get to that. Anyway. Then he spent some time for at school. You know? She thinks it's wrong that Denji didn't get to go to school working as a devil hunter and stuff, but Denji tells her what he thinks, you know. Anyway, they end up talking at an edge when she tells Denji that why does he run why doesn't he run away with her? But Denji reveals it because he likes it here. I mean, he's never had this type of stuff before. And yeah, it's different to the actual lip, someone who actually lived. He's different to the actual service of Japan, living. You know, the average service and lives. Because he gets a bad memory, but he doesn't care. He has to step up on his crappy life. So, yeah, he's an um, uninteresting protagonist, to say the least. Normally, show protagonists are good people with just unique personalities. Denji's no different in a way. He's, he's a sort of a good person. He's just a way he can be a bit dickheadish sometimes. But he's just raised in a bad environment as well. Alright, but I forgot to mention anything, anything in my last review. Please let me know in the comments below. Now, I, I try to put my ch promote this channel on Facebook, and um, when I someone commented, someone told me about the JoJo video on part my view on part one. That it's a it's over thirty minutes long, it's too long. Yeah, that was my fault. I always get distracted a lot. I can't help it. But yeah, it is my fault. I gotta try and fix that. Yeah. But it's way, it's a little better than reading the entire manga. <clears throat> over 50 freaking chapters. It's over, it's all 48 or whatever. It's longer than the, than the anime, which is 9 episodes. I don't know how that's possible. They dance all the chapters into 9 episodes. I don't get it. Anyway. Speaking of which, I'm almost done with Star Wars Crusaders. More specifically, the, uh, before... I'm almost on the Egypt part of the uh, almost on the Egypt arc. I'm gonna review it all together. I know like I did in the anime. Which I plan to do re reviews on like with Jujutsu Kaisen. I plan to do those re reviews for whole season for Well. We only got a couple more days till part six actually releases on Netflix. Which I am excited for by the way. You can spare review that on that when it comes out on December first, twenty twenty two. I'm gonna definitely do my best to binge all the episodes throughout the day. So that means... Oh, let me check something. It's on Saturday, 26th of November. So, number... November 30th. There's no 31st, is there? No. No. Hold on. I'm just going to pause a minute. Actually, I've got to mention something... Sorry, you had a... So I pause just to check and we got five more five days out to part six. Yeah, I'm actually excited. Five days, it's sometime on Friday I think. The thirtieth. No. Wait, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. No. Let me check. Uh, twenty seven, twenty eight. Twenty nine, thirty. Thursday, it's on this, it's on this Thursday. 
Thursday. Be prepared this Thursday for Jojo. I can't wait. I can't fucking wait, guys. I'm big Jojo fan these days. I got into it around last year, I think. Yeah, yeah, actually. Go around sometime late last year or earlier this year. Mainly because I. Well, they only had parts one for three on Netflix before part six. So I can only watch, only watch part half of part three as well, along with parts one and two. <clears throat> so. I managed to watch parts four and five on my phone, thanks to mobile apps. Dubbed. Will we watch it, son? That's what I plan to do. You know, get familiar with Japanese actors. So, you know. Anyway, now, I know, distracted again. Anyway. You know, before the whole scene on this, uh, I got back to the school or something I forgot. Um, the whole time, Denji, the whole time someone's put, Someone known as the Typhoon Devils, oh man, can't, has a contract with a man to kill Denji. So he tries to do that at school by using, um, Rize. Do I use Rize? A sausage, but that didn't work. She literally k easily kills him. And so she knows the Typhoon Devil. She's a bad guy or something. Anyway, back to that scene. After Denji refuses, yeah. She bites off his tongue and cuts off his hand before he can use chainsaw. Use well, it seems like he's done for, but he's saved by Beam. And well, she reveals a power, and somebody in Devil Hunter show up. She reveals her power, like Denji and Katana Man. She's also a human devil hybrid, human that can be used devil powers. Bomb girl. You know those spins you use on Grunty, you pull off greys, those spins. Well, she's wearing a collar and necklace with that on it. It's like that. And well, it's passive. She easily kills him. You know, high colors also help some other devil hunters do a practice or something. So, anyway, when Beam comes in with Denji, Beam knows more than he's not on to. You see that Makima told him not to say anything or he dies. Why? That's interesting. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I'm curious to know Makima's reason. She's getting more and more suspicious by the day. By like every arc, she's starting to get more suspicious. I didn't have a good. I didn't have any type of feeling towards the character, but, you know, because I didn't know her. But she seems interesting. Not saying something. She's just using Denji's love to get him to do what she wants. So, yeah, um. Anyway, we say attacks, causing some devil hunters to fight her off. They do their best. <coughs> well, Aikawa skates with Denji. <coughs> Along with the Angel Fiend and Beam. I can't remember the Angel Fiend's name right now. And he's a guy. Oh, but he's actually is a dude. Because <coughs> last time I said I wasn't sure if it was a boy or a girl. But they clarified it in this arc. That he's a boy. I think I, I don't think I mentioned his powers last time, actually. Yeah, I might have not. Just in case, um, his powers is cut to cut your lifespan in half. When he touches you, your lifespan gets cut in half. Kind of like the Death Note Shinigami eyes. But, you know, they are actually kind of similar in a way, the idea. It's pretty cool when manga girls take inspiration from other manga girls for their work. Like, say, T.T. Kubo's Bleach. Mo the whole society, idea of the Soul Society takes happy inspiration upon, say, a sanctuary storyline. 
which is one of the best arcs of the classic saves here, as I admit. Great arc. But anyway, um, so, 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 so yeah. The Demon Slayer, likewise, takes inspiration from Bleach, which inspired by Saint Seiya. Yeah? I mean, you can't tell, I mean, you've got to notice that Demon Slayer definitely takes inspiration from, you know, you know, take inspiration from Bleach. Um, anyway, um, I actually chat we plan to review the entire Entertainment District arc as an arc. Lower the Mugen Train arc, like I did in the Mugen Train movie. But I might explain some things differently then. So, those will be videos in the future. So, yeah, actually. Best way, if we watch the latest arcs, even watch them dubbed properly. Since the Mugen Train arc is pretty short, Shapiro Mars is the last review of any arcs on my anime channel of Demon Slayer. My last review was of the Entertainment District arc, episode by episode, similar to the Mugen Train arc. By the way, it's probably, I don't see what, the, what was the whole point of making a movie based on the arc if they're already adapting the arc as, an, as part of the anime. That's confusing. So, what? Audience, no, so that makes audiences really want to skip the film. Makes the film pretty pointless. You know, it was epic. But most likely, um, well, hold on a sec, I need to check something. Well, I just checked, and the deep Blu-ray does not have any special, pe special features. Which is a bit stupid. Well, they plan to include the episode with the entire season 2. That will not make any sense. It makes sense to put the episode as part of the movie. That's what they're doing in Japan right now, actually. Be broadcasting the Mugen Train movie with the first episode of season two. The went the anime exclusive when Goku episode. No joke, they are doing that in Japan. So again, make season two pointless. I could save a rent for it when I review the arc though on my anime channel. And I did oh by the way. Anyway, so, so yeah, Angel Bean is forced to revive Denji because he doesn't, because he's pretty lazy. He writes Denji and Bean, or Denji when he wakes up quickly goes chainsaw to fight Reze. Strong, she's strong. With the help of the Typhoon Devil. Angel Bean reveals that he, that, um, well, then that part, um, well, that um, Bean knows more about Denji's chainsaw abilities. Because think about it, Katana Man and Bongo have their own unique abilities with their devil powers. Denji just whips around his arms as all. Well. He doesn't use his chainsaw powers to a full ability like but he doesn't know though. So yeah, what to think about it? Denji comes with a plan. With Beam with help. As they got to go on together, taking down the taking down the typhoon devil, or Denji bows we say one more time. She feels she never loved him. It was just part of her training. So yeah, like and Denji plunges both of them into the sea. Because that's the way her bombs won't go off. Uh, is that actually true? Can bombs not? Can nuclear bombs not go off? Can bombs not go off in the ocean? I'm curious. If they if they can, let me know in the comments down below. Cause I I don't know really. Anyway, Denji didn't kill Rizé. No, she decides to leave. Denji tells her what she is that they'll meet. That he'll meet her at the cafe when she decides to come. Anyway. Right. 
Anyway, then, so yeah, then he's at the cafe waiting. Well, we say he seemingly might be going to the cafe just to talk to Denji or something. We don't know. And then she's confronted by Makima with some ability with mice. And well, she's swiftly killed by her and the angel that the angel thing from earlier. She basically asked him that to come with my higher karma, but she basically explains that she doesn't want that higher karma. He doesn't want High Kawa to kill a girl. High Kawa's had enough death. He's better to see people die around him. Alright. I think the Katana Man is very, very, very pain, much pain. No matter how torture could do what Dead G High Kawa did to him, you know they kicked his nuts. I told you, talked about that last time actually. It was pretty fascinating. I cannot wait to see it animated. But this one's going to be a while before it gets animated. Could possibly be season 2. Or season 1 could do the gun double arc. If it goes up to 24 or 26 episodes. And the only one just basically tells her that she was out of his league. Tells Deji that she's out of his league. And Deji thinks she's coming in. It's actually power. Her only appearance... She does get a side appearance early on after a flashback. My horns are back to normal. Yeah, she's been her usual self. Closing up the arc there. And well, I really enjoy meeting Chainsaw Man. I don't know, I'm actually catching up with the, all the arcs available so far. So that means I'm going to wait a while before more arcs come out. But that won't bother me, I can wait weekly for the anime. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed my content, please hit the one thumbs up button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Be utterly obvious it comes out in the future. And I'll see you guys maybe for more Chainsaw Man, probably, or maybe some other manga. I don't know, obviously, but yeah, I plan to make some time out of this. I was planning to review Black Clover today, but uh, I bought them baba. I don't know. I never really bother on upstairs much, do I? Anyway, tomorrow on my anime channel, I do got some reviews to do of Pico and Digimon. In terms of that, something I didn't know, but that Angola is actually played by the same actor who played Boa Noa Zoro in One Piece. Sentoru Chu! I really don't know uh, what he says on Sentoru, which means we saw so. But anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you all next time. Texas Kill out.